Today's question is from Donna and it's a little bit of a hard one. It's mm -hmm. about babies. When oh. you get babies in, is the process for preparing the body different? Okay. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Okay, so today's question um, is from Donna and Donna, Hi, Donna wanted to know about the preparation of babies and do you have to do anything different when you get a baby in? It, Donna, it depends on if you're talking about um, gestation, like you know 32 weeks 28 weeks talking newborns few months you know there's different preparations for different ages um from premies up to children so um if if we've got a uh, say a premie so i've got a 30 week gestation uh, uh baby It'll be probably most likely just a basic wash and dress. You are very developed. They're very so, delicate though still, are Yeah, they? they're still very delicate. Yeah, the skin's very, very thin. Um, uh, they they just need a wash and dress. And we, we've done a, a, a video about angel gowns. And we have these tiny little gowns that I'll we... I'll link to that um, for you. That we dress premies in. Um, and that's usually it. Unless the uh, the family want to have like lots of viewings, and then we're doing them balm, which is a with that size, it's just a bathing balm, placing them into a, a little bath of chemicals uh, for a couple of hours, and it just firms the tissues slightly. It so mum and dad can cuddle yeah, and hold. Yeah, it doesn't and... hold them for very long, just a a, a day or two, and that's it. Um, I don't prep the face of babies that small. I don't need to. There's, there's not because it's the tiny, tiny, tiny. In the same process coming up to say um, a stillborn and a few months old to one, so maybe it's a one year old, I normally wouldn't suture the mouth um, because babies tend to, I don't know, have their little mouths open anyway when they're little and they're asleep and all of that. Same as a, an adult where we're at well this and look like yeah, not confronting. peaceful. Yeah. Babies tend to look really peaceful with their little mouths open, the little, the eyes are closed. I'll always close their eyes, but you know, so the process is I'll still clean up the nose and clean out the mouth and clean the eyes and clean everything, but there's no um, suturing of the mouth. And normally I don't place any cotton anywhere because you can usually tell if the baby's going to purge or not. And if the baby's purging, it's gone too far. For the view and they really really do need embalming and uh, taking care of yeah the baby's starting to decompose if there's purge coming out then you know the skin's changed the organs are already breaking down there's purge because the babies decompose a yeah, lot quicker don't they very quick yeah very yeah. very very quick so uh generally babies are um just normal wash and dress generally right up till about the age of one there's not usually a great deal to do with babies of course unless they're being embalmed and then that's a total process of embalming babies similar way to we embalm adults just they've got smaller vessels so it's harder because everything's really hard, tiny. tiny but normally it's wash uh little baby nappy whatever the family want to be dressed in and um, and you use baby products on them too yeah don't you? i do i've got baby products for the hair and the body wash and uh, powder t uh, powder and uh, i've got baby nappies of all different ages and everything so yeah yeah so we do so it is slightly different um to adults still cared for just the same but slightly different and you also make sure that they're not alone don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, I do, yeah, I do. Yeah. When we have babies in in the uh, cold storage, I just can't bring myself to have them by themselves. So normally I put them on a tray with um, an adult and cuddle them in so they're not on their own on a tray, on a big tray, you know, before they go into their own coffin. So they're always with somebody, you yeah, know, they're just close a little baby to somebody. on one of those big racks is... Yeah. yeah, so we tend to put them next to each other. So, you know, like the adults kind of, you know, resting in the arm of the, <laughs> got the baby. So I just feel like 
they shouldn't be on their own. And I tell the families that when they come for yeah. viewings. So you should tell them, you know, baby's not been, you know, baby's been lying with a, a little lady I've got in there or a little gentleman I've got in there, you know, so baby's been lying there. So, you know, you should tell the families that. And they usually like that. They usually think, yeah. oh, thanks for that. Because, yeah. you know. So, okay. slightly different, yes. Yeah. It's not as much um, uh, suture going on with babies. So, mm. yeah. I hope that answered your question for you. Thanks for that. Oh yes, Donna had another question. Um, it's not really relevant though, and we'll just mention it. Donna okay. asked um, if you get donations of bodies to your school, but you're not uh, out of school. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Talking about mortuary school, we don't do that here in Australia or in the UK, uh, but in America it's a big thing. And then I don't know if they get donations of bodies in at mortuary school possibly it'll be like a wet lab like when you do your wet Uni lab courses stuff. And, and yeah yeah so university here if you're doing anything um anatomical here you'll get that's where the bodies will go for donation uh but i don't get any in at work no because training. it's a business like they yeah. get bodies in that they have to be prepped every day yeah. so yeah. you don't need to practice you do it every day no and when mm. um when we become morticians and mortuaries a mentor like I, I would train somebody in the mortuary on with the, the deceased you know it's on the job training so not here I don't get donated bodies that way yeah they do go to the university though yeah thanks Trace you're welcome thanks Donna thanks, thanks everybody yay linesmen ball boys yeah oh yeah tennis the tennis was on oh no I tell you what's just finished what? Did you watch the Winter Olympics? I like the Winter Olympics. That was Olympics. a while ago, but yeah, mm. I did watch it and yeah. I watched a lot of it. Did you see some of the, oh, hits, prangs, knocks? I know, oh, it's scary, isn't it? Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, the oh, spinny, God. flippy, spinny, flippy people. <laughs> the spinny, what's the spinny, flippy? Yeah, well, everybody at the Winter Olympics does so, spinny, flippies. <laughs> oh, yeah, and lied on the heads. I know. It's like, oh, my it's, God. They're yeah. good at it generally, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's only when the wind starts to pick up and yeah. Anyway, oh, when I was little and we had snow in the northeast of England where I'm from, we used to just get bin liners and go skidding down on our bums down the streets on the black ice. I yeah. thought I was an Olympic, an Olympian. Pian. I thought I was the, an, a winter Olympian. Were but, you? No, we just no. we avoided the cars <laughs> at the end of the street though as we went. Whew, oh. The cars went that way. We went that way. And it's Gosh. Like, yeah, but in the 70s, there wasn't that many cars in our street. <laughs> so. There wasn't much care for helmets and away to this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, sorry. Like, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Yes. That would be fabulous. And go visit our website. We've got a new blog up. Yes. Um, blog's Isn't coming it? all the time now. Yes. So it's cool. It's all Yay. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't forget merch. Woohoo. Yes. Yes, oh, get merch. Cal's sporting a beautiful little cap there. He right is, now. he is, he is. All right, guys, till next time. See, See you ya. later. Bye. Bye. Seal. Hit. Action.